Sunday blessings, Sunday blessings, Sunday blessings, everybody. All right, today I have the Sunday sermon notes, and this is going to be off the chain. You are going to really be blessed with this, so let's just get right into it. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed Sunday. If you are watching this today, you've already been blessed with the gift of life. So you got your blessing for today. So let's get this blessing too. Unscheduled blessings. Sarah and Abraham wanted a baby. Sarah and Abraham were very, very old. Sarah even laughed when she got the promise that she was going to have a child. God said to Abraham, is there anything too hard for me? Guess what? Sarah had a son in her old age, even though their faith was limited. Unscheduled blessings. God is going to put unordinary promises and unordinary blessings in your life. Now I'm going to give you a child a better job. I'm going to heal you. God sometimes waits a long time on purpose. Let me say that one again. God sometimes waits a long time on purpose so that you know that it was him who blessed you. It may seem too late for your promise, but an unseasoned breakthrough is on its way for you. Healing is coming. Your husband is coming. You will be the lender and not the borrower. It's coming. Get ready to hold your promise. Keep believing. Keep doing the right thing. Stay in faith. Don't worry about the medical report. Stay in faith. The economy can't stop it. And even COVID can't stop it. Nothing can stop God's promise for you. It's on the way. It may seem like God is too late. But just remember, God sometimes allows it to be too late so that he can show up and come through. You don't have to go after it either. It will come to you. Remember that one. You don't have to go after it. It will come to you. Just be patient. In the Bible, Mary and Martha's brother Lazarus was sick. Now remember, Lazarus was Jesus' best friend. So Mary and Martha's brother Lazarus was sick, and they sent out word that Lazarus was sick. So they sent for Jesus and said, Jesus, come, because you know Jesus was a healer. But Jesus didn't show up till four days later, and Lazarus had already died. Mary and Martha had prayed for a healing, but guess what? When Jesus showed up, he gave a resurrection. I want to say that again. Mary and Martha had prayed for a healing, but when Jesus showed up, he gave them a resurrection. He raised Lazarus from the dead. Your delay is because God is fixing to do a resurrection in your situation. God loves you. God sees you. He's concerned. He's already got a date for your breakthrough. So stay in faith. It may have been years. You get that one? It may have been years. But keep doing the right thing. Stay in faith. And get ready to see what God has been up to for you. No more dry season. Get ready for favor, blessings, healing, and abundance. It's your time. So if you have been waiting, and like the word says, it has been years and years, and you've been waiting well, guess what? God has a date on your blessings. And just remember, though, to keep doing right and stay in faith. 
And just the word, if you haven't been doing right, you can turn that around and start doing right and be in faith too. Remember, God allows blessings and things that are coming for you. He allows them to come late so that when it comes through and you just about thinking, there's no way that this can even happen in my age or, you know, my situation, you know, what's going on right now. But just remember, that's when you are going to know for sure that that is the Lord Jesus Christ, because he's going to make that situation where nobody could have made that happen except for him. So stay in faith. Keep believing. No more dry season. And get ready. All right. Be blessed. That is specifically for a multitude of people coming this week, coming this month, coming this year. I hope you enjoy this program and I speak blessings over your life. Be blessed, everybody.